Hi, it's John, J-A-W-N, and you're cooking with John. I said when I started this channel I was going to keep it basic, which I am, and um, of course I'm going to do some other more difficult things from time to time, but I'm going to do a basic roast uh, because it's very simple and it makes delicious sandwich meat or whatever. There you have it. Nice slab of meat there. And I'm going to leave on the string because it kind of keeps it together and also it will help keep the juices in. Okay, recipe for marinade, the roast. Okay, we're starting out with just under, um, well let's call it 100 milliliters of a, a tomato based uh, liquid. Then we put in two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of sea salt, Figaro's liquid smoke, and you better be careful with this because you can ruin a dish instantly by overdoing it. So I'm going with one teaspoon of this is all. Dave's Insanity Gourmet Hot Sauce. And this you gotta kind of go by the use no more than a teaspoon but it's hard to measure as you can tell in fact I'm not even going to use that much it's about a half a teaspoon there okay I've got my marinade cooked up I've got my baster for injection I've got my roast first of all this is a hook knife it's like a parry knife except it's got a hook to it and you just put that in there kind of rough it up a little bit take your marinade and you know I got ahead of myself before you do one injection you should go ahead and cut all your holes that you're going to use otherwise it comes out while you're working on it okay so that's seven and I used up most of my sauce there and you don't have to but I would recommend putting a little oil on the bottom of this unless you really like to scrub your cans now that's ready to go into the oven and we're going to cook this for the first oh probably 40 minutes with no shielding and uh, get a browning effect it's better to brown your meat first and then put the aluminum on that way you have the browned flavor okay. oven is set at 350 degrees and in it goes and make a note it's 612 always use a meat thermometer and I'm going to tell you why as much as I've cooked as many years I can't look at a piece of meat and tell you if it's done or not nobody can that's what they make these for you just pop them in there and when the center of that roast is about 100 degrees it comes out of the oven okay it has been an hour and 15 minutes okay only about 110 degrees in the center so this has got a long way to go probably at least another hour and one more makes five and we're going to put that to bed for probably at least another hour okay that roast has been in now for just short of two hours Let's see where we're at 148 actually that qualifies as beef rare but i don't like my beef that rare so let's take a look at this let's see how it moisturized and retenderized it and we're going to get a temperature reading on that right at 140 in dead center I'm going to say okay to that okay as promised when I, I told you when this cooled down 
I was going to do one last thing to it. So let's remove the toothpicks. Now this is fully completed cooking. It's been about 35 minutes, so it's even done cooking on the outside. Now I usually do this on all of my larger cuts of meat before I ever set knife into it or take my first bite. And that is I seal it in plastic wrap and I let it set in the refrigerator for a good 24 hours. And that lets all the spices completely marinate and it also softens up any um, dry spots that there might be on the outside. But I, I can tell you on this particular roast there are none. This, this really came out textbook perfect. And you can pick these up, these big plastic wrap tubes, at most restaurant supplies. That's now watertight so I can put that in the refrigerator and it's not going to leak all over anything. And plus if I want I can freeze it and you can tell by the springiness this thing is just loaded with juice and over the next 24 hours that juice is going to migrate out towards the, the back. Now I'm going to take this here and make gravy out of it. Let's see if it'll be alright. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And should I make a gravy video? I reckon so. So um, we're gonna cut here, and then we're gonna do a gravy video.